the show coming soon to KH12 about a special trip to Japan. Joining us now, a group of young people who was very, you know, with our very own Pamela Young. We have Sammy and Pam to tell us all about Sadako's Wish. Good to see you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, super exciting. Pam, you are always on the go, and so I just got to get your life. <laughs> um, let's talk about Sadako's Wish. Um, you were telling me a little bit about it this morning. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool story, but could you share uh, about it with our viewers? Sure. A few people know about this is it is taught in some schools. Um, Sadako Sasaki was a young girl who survived the bombing of Hiroshima. Ten years after the bombing, she was diagnosed with leukemia. Okay. And, you know, there's this Japanese legend that if you fold a thousand paper cranes, you get a wish. So she started folding and she got her uh, the, her friends at the hospital to also start folding. It became kind of this mission. And it her wish was not only for good health, but it also turned into a wish that no other child would have to go through okay. what she went through. Did I get it all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, okay, perfect. So now, Sammy, I want to bring you into the conversation. You know, you know a little bit about this story, and you're actually involved with the production. Yes. We're going to get into that in just a second. But I want to tell you, I want to ask you, why was her story so compelling to you? Her story was very compelling to me because her, her story, it just shows the amount of how brave she was to be able to be in the hospital and just through all of seeing, because in the, in the show, she has these friends in the hospital that overcome all these battles with their sickness and seeing how brave she was to wish to have her, because in the Japanese le legend, she right. wished for peace in the world. Okay. And she was so brave to just instead of wishing for her to get better from, because she was diagnosed with leukemia, she wished for peace in the world and just seeing how Aww. brave she was is very admirable. Wow, no, it really yeah. is, it really is. Okay, um, and this was performed in Japan, right Pam? Yes, well, okay. there were performances um, uh, in Hawaii. Actually, the show is about 10 years old and it evolves every year, but the mayor of Japan, uh, of Hiroshima, found out about it and invited Ohana Arts Theater Right. Uh, with at least 45 uh, cast and crew members to come and perform it for the Hiroshima people. This is Sadako's hometown. So they got to go to Japan and perform it. And it's not just the story about her wish for peace because these were, these are kids like four to 17 and they have their own battles, their own right. social issues coming out of COVID, depression, right. Um, you know, feelings of identity, crisis, the whole thing. Right. And her story helped them too. Right. Um, we're actually, everybody, we're looking at footage from, this is the past trip that you took to yes. Japan. Um, uh -huh. And Sammy, I, I believe that was you, right? Mm. Where, that was you wiping your tears. Could you tell, <laughs> no, but, uh, but I mean, rightfully so, yeah. because it's such a beautiful story. Could you tell everybody a little bit about what it was like performing in Japan? Who do you play and what was going through your mind when you know you're you're there and you're you know you're performing for everybody yeah performing the show in japan because we got to perform in hawaii in february but it's like it's so different to be in the place where it actually where all the events happens with the bombing in japan and right it's just so emotional because you know that you're in the location where all these innocent lives are lost yeah like 78 years ago and it's it was such a blessing to be able to perform there because Japan, something about there, like the, commu the community has such a strong connection with one another and you can tell that everyone cares for each other mm -hmm. and you, everyone has each other's backs and you can feel Sadako's presence in Hiroshima and it felt like every time we performed the show that Sadako was with us every awesome. time. That we did the show. Oh, beautifully said. And by the way, I want to go to Japan. So, Pam, <laughs> next time you yes. go to Japan, hit me up, girl. <laughs> Let's make a trip out of it. Um, okay, so. Um, when is Sadako's Wish airing? I know we're saying it's right here on KH12, but could you give everybody the details? Yes, tomorrow night at 9.30 uh, at KHON. It also has airings on CW and also KHI. Great. And several showings throughout the month of December. Uh, it's tomorrow's December 7th, which is a, a good, you know, a good date because it's all related. Yes. Uh, and um, I just, you know, I want to thank Sammy and the whole crew and the whole cast yeah. for being there because Sammy's 14. For oh for him and, and the cast members to go through this experience, yeah. it's heavy. It is. It's heavy for it a is. teen to go through that and to learn from it. Yes. So well, I hope the audience does too. 
Okay, so you guys, again, it's tomorrow on KH12. We're going to have more information on KH12.com. I could talk to you guys for days, but thank you guys <laughs> so much for coming on Living It Away. And congratulations to both of you on all of your success. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody.